Hey, it's Jessica, and this will be a video on the hamsters. I haven't done that in so long. Um, I just changed out the shavings in Ella's and Boo's cage. I just bought a big bag of shavings. This big bag I get for about 10 bucks at Walmart. And there's Ella. She's still kind of wandering around because I got her a new, like, igloo type thing. I got her that blue igloo at Walmart today to get rid of that orange piece that was here. It's way too small for her. It's a little ridiculous. So she's stuck with that now when I go home, which I'm sure she'll settle into eventually. It's just everything's new. And she they haven't been in the playpen in a long time, so and she was stuck in there for the whole time I was doing this. There's Ella. She's also had a, a little bit of a sand bath while she was in the playpen, so I put fresh sand in there. Which is good because I think her fur was a little bit sweaty. It's been warm in here. I just bought a new air conditioner, but I haven't put it in yet. She's pretty tame. I can pick her up, no problem. That's, I just fed them also. They get a big pellet. Ella doesn't like these too much. Then she gets a seed mix, and I just got a new food. I'll show you. It's a, another pellet, but small pellet. It's supposed to be this apple and grape in it. I, doubt Ella's going to like it because she's really picky, but I'm sure Boo will like it, and Barry will probably like it also. She doesn't chew on much like that. I gave one to Boo and Barry, those twig balls, and they're gone. But Ella still has hers. <laughs> I'll place this part down, and here's the loft part. That's a new stick. It's a nut stick. I like to hang it to make them kind of work for it. She has a bird ladder there, but she does climb. She climbs up and then hangs on this grate upside down. It's funny. She has logs that she doesn't go into or anything. What she does is she sits on top and looks out. And that's when uh, she's usually begging to go out. <laughs> and she's got another kebab over there. Chew thing over there. She kind of likes that one. It's got chew marks on it. And there's the wheel all the way down there. There's Boo's wheel. I washed it because he's always in his wheel. He eats in his wheel. I think he naps in his wheel, but whatever. And said, I'm not going to open this up because Boo's kind of, like, if you've watched my previous, you can watch one of my first videos about um, how he's never really been tamed. He's not so bad if you take him out into the playpen and try to touch him, but inside his domain, he will bite you. Even if you're giving him a treat, he attacks. He att <laughs> so, I kind of just open up the cage quickly to feed him stuff and that's about it. He sleeps in that part. Ella did have this part, but um, it's way too small I find for a teddy bear hamster. It's good for dwarfs, but teddy bear hamsters, they get really congested and um, sweaty because the heat can't come out easily. But Boo likes it fine. So it's like I had this part, the travel case for Ella, but she never went into it, so I took it away because I figured that would be a perfect place for her to make a nest, is this big, you know, the big, big travel case, but no. Boo goes into it occasionally. This part, I just put his hay in. Nothing's in it but the hay. There. And Boo, I gave Boo more of that new pellet, because I figured he'd like it. Just like he got one more of the big pellet, because he likes the big pellets. And there he is. I'm going to close this quick. He has red eyes. So he's not an albino because he's not white. That's the coconut cabana. He likes it. And he doesn't have a nut stick. He has just a plain honey stick. I didn't want to give him anything too sweet. I think the nut one has more honey on it or whatever. There's Ella. She's been chewing up the stick. sure she likes the light interface. Here's her water bottles I just filled and washed actually. They got um, that little ball is um, like a Rice Krispie type thing. I'll show you Barry's cage even though I ended I was going to clean all three today but uh, it got late and I had a shower and I'm going to work tomorrow. This is the easiest to clean since it's just a big bin. And his is also like the cleanest anyways. So his I hang on this piece of metal. I hang his kebab. 
The only annoying part is it bangs against the plastic, so it's kind of loud. Yeah, it will do that, and it will make that noise. There he is. So I haven't fed him yet. I'm going to wait till tomorrow, because I know he has a stash in his house. So he'll be okay. There's his blue twig ball. Destroyed it. <laughs> He's so cute. It's all black. It's got a white spot on him, though, which is cute. Mm, what's up, Barry? Oh, he has got a loofah, but they don't, he doesn't use it, and the other hamsters use it. There's his litter box, wheel, which is eight inches, eight and a half, can't remember. But he's always had this. And his bottle, which is a super cut glass bottle. And that's an uh, ecotrician, like apple treat. He likes it. He liked the ravioli treat that I got him. Him and him and Boo both ate the raviolo treat that I showed you in the past video. But Ella didn't like it. So it's just his cage. They all have one of these. So I think it's cute. And he has the wooden hut for his house. It's a medium sized one. No, the small one looked really small. Didn't he have a window in it, the small one? I'll show you the food that I got. Mm -hmm. Take this out. Got too many bags. This is the big bin. I keep all their food and treats and That's their main diet. Their seasonings. That's hay. Should have left this out. Here's the new food I got. Made in North Yorkshire. So apparently it's from England. I don't know. There's only like five bucks. It's only 2.2 pounds, but it's a pellet. Which I didn't even know until I bought it. Even though it says right on an extruded pellet. I don't know. It looks pretty healthy. It just depends on whether my hamsters like it. If they do like it, I'll probably keep mixing it into the food. Made in England, okay. My Walmart's finally getting better hamster supplies. We're even starting to carry the these cages here, which is good because they're cheaper at Walmart. I got these for really, I got these I think for like $32.99. At Walmart they're for like $24. So that is just an update on the hamsters. They're all clean and happy. I think Boo and Ella are both wandering around going, ooh, new smells. Because <laughs> all the bedding is clean. If you have any questions, just ask or PM me or post a comment. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.